Hey Capricorn, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your April love reading. It's general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. If you want a personal love reading, I'm available. Um, the link is in the description box. You can also head right over to my Etsy shop and buy a reading there. I have Oracle decks, spiritual jewelry as well. Your bonus reading for mid-April is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? What's on their mind? Thinking? What's in their heart space? What are they not saying? All that. What's going on behind the scenes? It is in your reading, okay? All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with the Epiphany, okay? This is one of my Oracle decks on my Etsy shop. And um, yeah, let's get you your messages. I am going to ask the universe a few questions at the very end. So think of... Two or three yes or no questions, okay? I'm going to get it out so I remember. And this is also on my Etsy shop. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on with Capricorn? What messages we have for Capricorn, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all for your love and support. I just reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I couldn't do it without you, okay? I just wanted to say that. <laughs> All right, so we got the karma card, okay? Karma is at work here. So some of you guys, um, there could be some karmic debt that had to be paid off here. You guys could be dealing with a karmic or there could be a karmic lesson that has to be learned, okay? Um, ready to surrender, ready to surrender. So someone is saying ready to surrender. Now this can mean two different things, right? Um, it can mean, you know, if you're dealing with someone who kind of was been running away from the connection they could be saying hey i'm ready to just give in to open up to let you in to be emotionally available to you and there for you um however surrender can also be if you're dealing with someone who's been very stubborn and running away from the connection surrendering could be you know what just letting things go right letting things be releasing control over a situation here and just saying you know what i'm just gonna let it I'm going to put it out to the universe and if the universe wants me to be with this person then so be it right so um take it how it resonates but let's we'll see how that resonates with your reading okay let's see april if this is your reading capricorn like share comment and subscribe i appreciate it greatly for your love and support thank you all right one more good shuffle for capricorn What's going on with my Capricorns out there? Clear messages here for Capricorn. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords in reverse. So there is a situation here where both of you guys, I feel both of you guys, whoever you're dealing with Capricorn, I think both of you guys truly are invested in this connection for the long term. The Eight of Pentacles is about putting hard work. It's about really building something, right? With the Three of Pentacles, about coming together, collaborating, teamwork. I think both of you guys both believe in this connection. Both of you guys have both put a lot of energy and effort. You know, you do want to see it grow. Um, you know, there's great potential here. Some of you guys were dealing with this person I'm getting for three years, uh, eight years or something. I'm getting a long time investment. Um, but I'm also seeing a situation here where you guys could have had some conflict that someone is still struggling with, okay? Struggling on letting it go, struggling on moving into calmer waters, making peace with the past. There's something here that someone is holding on to and they can't release it, okay? They're having a difficult time with that. All right, let's see what happened in the past. Ooh. So in the past, it looks like there was some broken communication or something here stopped moving forward. There could have been some delays here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. What happened here? We have the Four of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing that someone in the past has walked away from the connection and it has left someone with a very distasteful, <laughs> distasteful, uh, I'm getting taste in their mouth. Someone is still not happy with how someone uh, treated this connection in the past or someone could have i'm getting someone walked away and may have rejected someone okay the four cups and eight of cups someone walked away and may have rejected the other person or someone felt like a rejection or or as if you don't really care about me you know and i'm seeing that that has really hurt this connection 
to a point where things haven't been able to be the same since then. It hasn't been able to move forward. There's been delays. There's been communication issues between you guys. Um, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing someone being not available as well emotionally on e something on the emotional level. Someone hasn't been able to be supportive or be open, okay? And I'm seeing that someone's been very disappointed, disappointed in the other person's actions or just, yeah, the behaviors and the connection. So there's something in the past that has definitely stopped moving, um, it, it's definitely caused this connection to stop moving forward. And I also feel that someone could have, recently came back in your life or wants to come back maybe it didn't play out just yet someone wants to come back because someone does feel like there's been a missed opportunity that's for some of you guys maybe it didn't happen yet we're all in different um phases of our journey so someone could have recently returned or is trying to return back into your life capricorn because they feel really sad they feel lost without you they could have rejected you and now feel like there's been a missed opportunity okay so let's see what's on your mind capricorn King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. See, some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Sag, and Aries, okay? That's your energy with the King of Pentacles. You're all about, you know, long-term stability, commitment. You guys are very focused. You're very dedicated. You're hard workers. You're, you're definitely thinking about your future here with this King of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing that there's a situation here with a fire sign or someone that you've had a lot of there's a lot of desire, there's a lot of attraction here, but I feel like things are, are not on the right, things aren't really going too well, right? Something here has not been working out, maybe you feel like this person has failed you in some way, or something here has not planned out the way you anticipated, you thought it would, okay? And that's what I'm seeing, the, the six of wands is right now on your energy, you feel maybe this person hasn't really acknowledged you, or they're not showing you enough attention, it could be, that king of wands could be someone who, um, likes to give a lot of attention to other people, but maybe they're not giving you enough attention, right? All right, let's see. So let's see what's on your mind. Some of you guys are in the same sex relationship that the King of Wands and King of Pentacles. Just got to say that. Not necessarily true, right? Obviously. Male or female, doesn't matter. We'll have masculine and feminine energies. All right, in the foundation, we got the Magician, um, Gemini energy, the Sun, Leo energy, Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So Capricorn, your person, they're wanting to manifest something. They may, be, they may be coming more clear about what you mean to them. Okay, the sun is enlightenment. The sun is clarity. Okay, something here could be illuminated to them. There could be some kind of big revelation that, well, they do want to manifest with you. They do want to create this opportunity to create or, or make something here, make something happen, right? Um, the sun is happiness, it's hope. And what I'm seeing right now is your person not feeling really fulfilled right now in their life. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about what you mean to them. And they're seeing the situation as a loss. The Ten of Pentacles in versus some kind of breakup here or separation or they feel like, it's a challenge to get to this Ten of Pentacles with you. And I think it's because of a past, because of a past situation. Someone could be, maybe have dealt with something in the past where they felt they weren't good enough. They could have been bringing that energy into this in, uh, to this new relationship. So take it how it resonates. It may not be a past person, but someone may be harboring some energy or something from the past, past trauma or something from a past relationship, okay? Um yeah, and I'm seeing that your person does want to create something here with you. They do believe in a connection. So let's see how this is going to play out. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. So there definitely could be some communication coming through. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries. The Ace of Swords is definitely a lot of communication. So if you guys have been unclear as to what's going to happen here, there's something finally coming to light and there may be a lot of communication between you and your person. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing that what, what the communication is going to be about is regarding um, this relationship, right? The Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, because something here has um, been a little bit rocky. I feel like someone may owe someone an apology or maybe a person um, feels like they owe you an apology and they want to talk about it. Um, but that's there's some communication coming through. And I think that it's very much necessary because things haven't been moving forward and there's definitely a need for um, a breakthrough, right? For something to get unstuck, maybe move forward because there's something about the past that's been holding this connection back. 
All right, let's get some clarity here for you, Capricorn. Again, just a reminder, um, I'm going to get to the Ask the Universe cards at the very end of your reading today. So think of a few questions you want to ask. And your bonus, how does your person feel is on Vimeo for mid-April? All right, the Eight of Pentacles or the Three of Pentacles. Um, the Emperor came out. So, yeah, I feel like both of you guys definitely still want to see this move forward. Drive it forward. Page of Wands, there's definitely a lot of passionate communication. But I do feel there's still some conflict that someone has that, that they're still holding on to. And as much as they want to move things forward, I think that is the block. I think that is what's keeping things kind of not being able to take off the emperor is definitely someone who wants to make good decisions um here on out let's see what happened in the past the eight of cups the four of cups the eight of wands you the devil and magician in verse and the six of wands in verse see this is what happened in the past someone could have came from a relationship that was very toxic they could have been dealing with someone who was you know very manipulative someone who did things for their own self their own good could have been very selfish right um six of wands in verse there could have been a situation here that was a a failure, right? That was um a real big letdown, okay? A really crushed someone's self-esteem, okay? And the devil is telling me that it could have been very difficult to break away, could have been called dependent, could have kept someone um tied and bound for a very long time. And I'm seeing, I think, if this is you, Capricorn, this could have been someone that you, or something that you've dealt with before meeting this person, okay? So maybe someone is coming into your life and you're having a difficult time overcoming the past or this could be your person. So take it how it resonates. But I don't think this is your person. I don't think that you've gone through this with your person, but some of you guys, you have. What's on your mind, Capricorn? But yeah, I do feel like that's the reason why someone was was been... Someone has been in and out. The Eight of Cups, someone's walked away and they came back. Um, but someone has not been able to truly move forward and invest in a connection like the way they want to because of this. Because some kind of level of toxicity from the past. All right, let's see. The King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, the Temperance. Yes, yeah, someone needs more time to heal. Capricorn, this could be you. Sagittarian energy here. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, but someone needs more time to heal. Things happen in moderation with that temperance card. It's about being patient. And someone may not be necessarily ready. Yeah. You know, Seven of Cups talks about a little bit of confusion, but also getting some kind of clarity on, on how to move forward, right? The King of Wands and King of Pentacles, how to move forward to have some kind of stability long term. But whoever you're dealing with, Capricorn, this is someone who definitely wants to manifest with you. Um, but they're also feeling as if they're having to avoid their being emotionally... Um, available to you or they, they feel as if like it's not safe to love you there's something regarding the energy of avoidance okay maybe someone you know the queen of cups could be cancer pisces scorpio some of you guys are dealing with a water sign um they could be avoiding something because maybe they've been manipulated or, or used in the past as well the sun is healing that could be something that they're healing from right now let's get some more messages yeah that could be a burden or a block your person may be the one going through it so take it out, resonate. Someone is going through something from the past that's created a blockage, okay? And they may not be sure how to love. Someone could have been manipulated by a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini, or Scorpio, strong Scorpion energy, or Leo. Um, and that is the burden, letting it go, moving into calmer waters, right? And so someone doesn't automatically look at relationships as being, you know, they may not be in a happy place. The Nine of Cups is in reverse your person's energy. They're not fulfilled, yeah, I'm seeing a person, it's like they see growth with you, they see great potential, but they're not willing to invest everything just yet because they could have been leave, letting go or leaving, walking away from a very damaging relationship, okay, or a damaging connection where it was very, very toxic, right? The devil, the tower. I mean, this is some, you know, maybe dealing with the manipulator, right? Magician card came out in the verse over here. So that's a lot of heavy energy, Someone is trying to overcome and leave behind. Ace of Swords, there's definitely some kind of communication coming through. Maybe maybe you guys are talking about a situation here where, yeah, wow, look at that. Empress and Lovers. I'm seeing that someone wants to talk about why you guys can't have this beginning yet. Why this can't come together. Ace of Cups came out in a verse. The thing is, is that 
whoever you're dealing with Capricorn, there's a very, very strong, strong connection, right? The lovers, the lovers is a decision um, to come together into union, right? It's a decision to surrender. So there could be a very important decision um, coming up between you guys uh, as to how you guys want to move forward with this lovers card. Obviously, there's a very, very strong attraction and connection but also there's some karma right you know there may be a need to clear out some karmic debt and i said that when we this card came out with this magician the tower and the devil this could be some karma that someone had to go through and they need some time with the temperance to kind of let it go and clear out that space before they start something new with the ace of cups but i do feel whoever you're dealing with the empress is telling me that they do want to nurture the connection. They do want to plant seeds here. They see you as someone that they find you very desirable. Um, and they do want to move forward in nurturing this connection. Um, but I do feel like there's a little bit of hesitancy because of a past situation. All right, so Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Hope you followed along. Um, if this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, check out your bonus reading. And um, if you want a personal love reading, go to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there. Oh, I want to ask the universe, so stick around. So Capricorn, <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, think of three questions you want to ask the universe. It has to be yes or no, right? Um, this is my Oracle deck, and it's pretty much straightforward. You just got to ask your question, and you get your answer. All right, Capricorn, ask your question. What do you, ooh, what do you want to know? Now, this question could pertain to the situation. It could pertain to anything family, career, finances, okay, whatever. All right, Capricorn, what do you want to ask the universe? Okay, let's get one card here. Negative. <laughs> Negative. So that's a no, okay? So the first question, the answer is a no. What is your second question, Capricorn? Clearly state your intentions to the universe, okay? So Spirit is saying if you're very clear about your intentions, you make it very clear on what you're looking for, what you want, then the universe is going to give it to you. But you got to cl be clear. Some of you guys, you're not really sure what you want, okay? All right, what's your third question? Yes, indeed, okay? That's a yes. All right, Capricorn, um, you guys have a great remainder of your weekend. Take care and stay safe.